Hey guys, it's Bryony. So some of you might recognise this room. This is my old bedroom, except it's had a bit of a makeover since I was last here because obviously I don't live here anymore. Um, but today I'm going to be doing a review on the Ethereal pads that I was sent. So I have three of them here. Julianne is the lady who runs Ethereal pads and she was kind enough to send these to me for free. However, I have not been paid to do this review and it's just all my own personal opinions of what I thought of the pads when I used them myself. So the pads themselves are a soaker design. So this is the panty liner, which is eight inches. You can tell it's the panty liner because it has a P sewn onto the wing, which is actually very easy to tell. It is a very clear V actually, because sometimes you can't work out what um, the embroidery stitches on when certain cloth pad makers do it, but it's very easy to tell on these ones. So this is an eight inch pad and it does not have any absorbent core to it. However, all her pads are constructed with either a flat cotton or cotton jersey top and a woven cotton back, so it is still two layers of cotton um, in the panty liner. The next one is the Moderate Flow, which has an M on the wing, and this is 10 inches. This is cotton topped. I love cherries. This, this is one of my favorite prints, cherry prints. Um, it's a nice narrow pad. This one has, I believe, two layers of bamboo terry. Yeah, that's right. Two layers of bamboo terry in it, and again, the woven cotton on the back. Still pretty thin, um, but definitely absorbent. That's the 10 inch moderate. And then I also have a 12 inch heavy, which is the H on the wing. This one is cotton jersey tops and a woven cotton back, and it has one layer of bamboo terry and one layer of absorb inside it. And it's a little bit wider in the middle as well. So starting from the panty liner, I'll go through like my opinions on each particular pad. Sorry, that's my phone. Um, on each particular pad. And um, I will just show with you like what I thought about it and whether it worked for me or not. So here is the panty liner, which is eight inches. Eight inches is usually a little bit big for me. I prefer to have seven inches in a panty liner, but this one actually was quite good for when I was using a menstrual cup where I wanted a bit more protection. It snaps up nice and narrow and Oddly enough, I am someone who doesn't usually work too well with soaker types. So soaker pads are basically pads that just have the absorbent core sewn onto a layer of fleece. The cotton doesn't extend out to the wing. Um, and we, like I said, we call these soaker pads. Um, but this one actually worked for me. And I think it's because the pads are very, are quite narrow in the middle. So they actually fit my underwear well. Otherwise, usually what happens is they tend to kind of bunch up and then I bleed onto the fleece and obviously it goes through your underwear and that's never very good but these ones actually work for me so if you're someone like me that doesn't usually work with a soaker style pad because they're usually too wide or they bunch up this might be one you want to try actually um i really like the pattern on this too I, I i would never ever have picked it myself but it's just really kind of cute and what well, says paris on it who doesn't love paris um yeah just very fashionable very fashion I don't know what I'm trying to say. You can you can guess what I'm trying to say from this. But yeah, it, this one actually worked pretty well for me. And I find that two layers of cotton is more than enough absorbency for me because with a panty liner, it's only ever for backup if I've got discharge and if I'm ovulating or whatever, or I use it as backup to a menstrual cup, um, in which case I should only have a few specks of blood on there. If I leak more than that, then I need more than the panty liner. But it definitely holds all of that. And I didn't have any leaks with any of these pads. The backing on all the pads is anti-pill fleece. So moving on to the 10 inch moderate. I really, really like this one actually. I was a bit concerned because when you, like, if you see the wings out here, they're quite wide. And when you fold it up, I was worried that that would mean the pad wouldn't bend much or contour. But as you can see, it easily contours to your body. Um, even with the wings being that shape, I think it's because they are a soaker style, so the fleece is much more flexible as it doesn't have like a stiffer cotton fabric um, extending out to them, so it does like flex and bend and contour well to your body. Again, because this is so narrow, it actually works for me because I have very narrow gusted underwear. I have a small bum, so I wear small underwear. Um, probably more like a size six to eight in underwear, if that's any help to you guys. And this gusset, I would estimate to be about two, two and a half inches wide, uh, which is perfect for me, even with a heavy flow. Um, and I use this on a, mo I use this in my moderate flow, but my moderate flow is not very heavy. Um, so I didn't have any leaks with it, but like I said, I couldn't tell if it was very heavy how it would be, but bamboo fabrics tend to be very absorbent. So I would be confident that this could hold a reasonably heavy flow as well. Thickness wise, I don't know if you can see, it isn't the thinnest pad, but if I unsnap it and maybe 
for it halfway. It's not ridiculously thick either. It is a reasonable um, thickness. It's, a, it's thick enough that you feel you have something in your underwear, but it's not too thick that you feel like you're wearing a nappy. Um, and this one did work very well for me. And like I said, I had no leaks. It didn't bunch up and, you know, pull round. So I leaked off the edge. I didn't have any problems with that. It did fit really well. And it's a lovely style and nice and narrow in the middle. The final one is the 12 inch heavy. Now for me, I, when pads get bigger, I find that they don't work as well if the wings are sewn in the center. I need the wings to be further forward because I bleed more to the back. Um, and especially on my heavy days, I'll tend to bleed in the center and backwards. Um, I don't think I had any leaks with this one. I can't recall having any leaks with this. Um, but I would definitely prefer it if the wings had been more towards the front for me personally, just for my body type. Some of you um, might be fine with it in the middle and that's where you need it. Just as a general, um, you just generally tend to bleed in the center and that would work for you great. This is jersey topped. I've never been a fan of jersey just because it doesn't, I don't know, my body doesn't seem to work for me. I find it quite a wet fabric. Um, but I don't recall feeling wet with this one either. So maybe it was actually, I washed it enough for it to be pretty absorbent. Um, because it's got absorb in it, it is a bit thicker, but it's still not ridiculously thick for a heavy pad. Let me fold it in half and you can see there. So you can see like, it's not a huge difference, hugely different to the moderate flow um, pad. And if I maybe do it this way as well, you can see there is a thickness to it, but it's not ridiculously thick. Again, you probably wouldn't feel like you're wearing a nappy with this one. The interesting thing about this one is it is a bit wider in the center um, and I think that did cause a few issues for me just in terms of bunching up just because like I said my underwear has got such narrow gussets to it um, but absorbency wise it held up perfectly fine to my heavy flow again I'm not a particularly heavy bleeder so I can't say it would hold a tsunami but it definitely will hold a moderate to heavy flow um, and Zorb is known for being a very absorbent fabric hence its name Zorb is short for absorbent. Um, so yeah, and it's a very good, again, blend, um, bends really well, contours your body shape really well, so I can't imagine you would have any problems with this if you're someone that likes the pads to bend. Um, and as I said, I was worried about the wings being so wide, but that doesn't seem to restrict it because it is just the fleece. This is one of the first brands of pads that I've seen that are top soaker style, where they aren't surged. So these are turned in top stitch and then sewn onto these soakers. So if you don't like the kind of serge style, but you like the idea of a um, soaker style pad, then this is definitely a brand you should try. But overall, I found them very good. The sewing quality on them is, is I can't fault it. it didn't, they didn't come apart. They're sewn very well. Um, I definitely think they are a brand that I would recommend. So you can find them on ethrealpads.com. And let me just double check. This, and yes, the lady runs it is Juliana. I will put a link down below to the website so you can go and see them. And she is based in the EU. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.